we're going to give you a quick overview of the stationary feature built into Apple's mail application. Now one of the nice things about stationary is it allows you to dress up simple email message with some additional HTML formatting and even photos without having to know the underlying HTML coding that goes into building an email message like that. You simply choose from a series of templates to your liking and then customize them from there all with drag and drop simplicity. So the first step would be to open up my mail application and to click on new message and what we're going to do today is I'm going to write a short email to a friend of mine featuring some photos from a recent trip I took to Copenhagen. I click on the new message. I've opened up a new message window here and on the upper right I have my show stationary button. When I click on show stationary it gives you a variety of options of pre-formatted templates for birthdays, announcements, photos, and other topics. Uh, for this I'm going to choose photos and I'm going to click on the first one airmail which brings up a pre-formatted stationary uh, which resembles somewhat an old airmail letter. You can see I have some customized text here and also three spots uh, for photo placement. The first step might be to come in and customize this text to say greetings from Copenhagen and I could go on and click away and click down and start writing my message but I'm going to jump up to the image placeholders and actually replace these with photos from my iPhoto or Aperture library. Now one of the nice things about mail and similar to all of the applications within the iLife and iWork suites is that you're able to access previews from your iPhoto and Aperture libraries all from within the program without having to open up those separate photo management applications. I can click on the photo browser up here in the upper right and I'll see previews from all of the images within my Aperture and iPhoto library. I can click on the small disclosure triangle next to Aperture and you can see all of my projects and albums from within my Aperture library. I'll click on the selects folder within my Scandinavia project and I can simply drag and drop from the photo browser right into the image placeholders and you can see my images pop into place and then if I don't like the size or cropping of a particular image I can double click on that image placeholder and a small resize slider will appear. I can drag that slider until the image is sized how I'd like and then if it's not centered properly I can simply click and drag to pull the image uh, into the frame how I'd like it to appear and I click away when I'm, I'm done and now I'm ready to finish my email message. I hope you find stationary a quick and convenient way to dress up some of your email messages to friends or business associates so I encourage you to take a look through the stationary that's available and find them and use them to your liking. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks.